Hai, Assalamualaikum Welcome back to Teacher Nina's Science Class Today we are going to continue with Science DLP Year 3 With the Part 3 of the Solar System So for today we are going to learn about the orbits of planets and also the revolution time of the planets okay are you ready let's start okay first and foremost you need to know that the earth rotates on its axis rotate is turn okay rotate means turn so the earth actually rotates on its axis what is an axis axis is that red line you see there but actually the line doesn't exist it does not exist it's it's like an imaginary line it's like um, when you poke a meatball onto a skewer so the skewer is like the axis so it means that the earth rotates on this axis which is imaginary but why scientists put it in the diagram here to make us understand a lot better okay so remember that earth rotates on its axis and at the same time the earth also revolves around the Sun in an orbit if you look at this diagram you can see that the earth also moves in in an elliptical orbit okay orbit is this uh, blue dotted lines here and again that line is imaginary okay it does not exist that means if we can go up into the sky high really high up and we can see the solar system we will never going to witness or see the lines we don't see it but um, how the earth revolves how it moves around the Sun it looks like it is revolving in an orbit okay just like when you see um, athletes running in the stadium okay um, so we see that each uh, runner will run in their own um, path so for a planet earth it will revolve around the Sun in an orbit and not only Earth but all planets move around the Sun revolves around the Sun you remember revolves means you make a circle it's not actually a circle it's an elliptical elliptical is is not really roundish it is a bit like an egg as you can see the numbers here uh, the shortest distance would be 147 million kilometers compared to the uh, longest is 152 million kilometers so it is not really round okay so with this knowledge you would understand our topic for today the first subtopic is orbit of the planets if you look at the picture in your textbook page 122 you see that um, for example these two kids are playing with their toy cars and it has a track here so the orbit is just like the track okay so you can see here all the planets will revolve around the Sun in their own tracks they won't go overboard they won't go into other planets tracks okay they don't have a mind of their own so they will stick to their, their own orbits okay so the orbit is an elliptical imaginary path that goes around the Sun in space all right okay so this is um, really simple right I hope so so on page 123 you can actually do this activity at home with your family all right let's go to the next page 124 is the revolution time of the planets revolution time is the time taken for each planet to revolve around the Sun okay obviously it would be different why because um, the nearer a planet to the Sun look at the orbit the nearer the planet to the Sun 
the orbit will be much smaller. So it will take a shorter time to complete one revolution. Okay, one revolution here. So the nearer the planet to the sun, the shorter time it's going to take to revolve around the sun. Okay, ah, so actually that is all. It's really simple. Okay, you can read you can read up in your textbook as the distance between a planet and the sun increases, the time taken for it to make one complete revolution around the sun also increases. That means the farther away a planet is from the sun, the more the longer the time taken to revolve around the sun. Okay? All right. So, um, if we can go back to uh, this one, okay, uh, it's just a knowledge for you. One rotation is equal equals to 24 hours. That means if you start here, okay, let's start here. We start here and when we come back to this exact place again, it's one day, 24 hours. And one revolution, for example, okay, let's start from here. From here, okay, this is one year, okay, one year. So it moves around the sun and another year, okay? So the earth takes one year to make one complete revolution around the sun. All right, okay, now I'm going to show you another diagram. Ah, this would I think this would make you understand a little bit, a little bit better. Okay, if you see inside here, this is the sun, and the nearest planet to the sun is the Mercury, right? So compare the movement of Mercury, how it revolves around the sun, and compare it to like Saturn here. So Mercury and Saturn, if you just compare these two. Mercury moves a lot faster, right? Because the orbit is much smaller compared to Saturn because Saturn is farther away from the Sun. Ah, okay. So that actually wraps up today's lesson. It's very simple, right? So on page 126, this is the conclusion what you need to remember for this topic. And then I really hope you will answer the questions at the bottom part of page 126. Answer it in your science journal. Okay, that's all for today. Have a nice day, everyone. Stay safe. Bye.